uh, so today I have my um, boxy charm for this month, and I don't actually have the box for you. Um, I actually got it Friday, and I noticed that when I received it, that whole like a lot of the outer part of the box had like this pink powdery substance all over it. So I thought, oh great, something shattered. And so sure enough, when I opened it, there was pink powder everywhere. I wound up having to take um, everything out and wiping it down. So I do have the products in my lap in front of me here, except for one thing, and I'll get to that here in just a minute. But first, I want to show you everything else. So, and I did actually use some of the products in here already, just to kind of give you my first impressions, first thoughts kind of Things. So anyways, this month was, uh, the theme was called Cutie Pie, and I wasn't impressed with this month's box. I mean, I liked some of the items, and I was kind of bummed. I was actually really looking forward to this month's box, because I already had seen some unboxing videos, so there was a few items that I was actually excited for, and then when I received it, I was kind of bummed. So I'll get to that here in just a second. Now the first thing um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out here is the eyeliner by Winky, Winky, Winky Lux. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And um, this is an eye, not an eye, did I say eyeliner? I'm an eyebrow pencil. And this retails for $12. It's a Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil. And I don't know what shade this was, and I, it's a little darker than I would like. I'm actually wearing it on my brows right now, and it's one of those uh, thicker types. It has um, that triangular shape, and I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, it, it went on okay. It was a little more waxier. It didn't apply as smoothly as my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. That one, you know, really is super creamy. As this one was super waxy, you kind of have to put pressure um, to actually get some of the product. But I do, but I did like it, and it does come with a, um, an eyebrow brush at the other end, which is always nice when they come with it. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about this yet. Um, I think the color is okay on me. It's a little darker than what I want. But I'm going to keep playing around with it and see how I feel about it later. And the next thing I was super... The one thing I am super happy about is this product. This is the first time I've actually received a Bare Minerals product in this box before. And it's the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. And I actually used it today to set my foundation. And I really like it. Um, it's translucent. It doesn't... Um, it doesn't like give me a white cast or anything like that. Um, it's double sided. I would swatch these but um, I honestly don't think you're going to be able to see it anyways. This side is just a, like a matte translucent powder and it's super soft but it is a little bit powdery. And the other side is a, like a glow powder. You can actually... I'm not sure if you could put it all over your face. I think you probably could, like the Hourglass Ambient Powders. Um, for me, I actually used it as a highlight. And like I said, it is a little bit powdery. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. And that swatch right there is my the eyebrow pencil that I tried to wipe off, but it didn't wipe off. But, yeah, I'm not sure if you'd be able to see that. You might see some shine, but anyways, I'm actually wearing it as a highlight today. And as you can see, it is highlighting, so that's why I'm not quite sure if you should put this all over. And it actually does come with a mirror as well. And so far, I'm really liking this, so I'm going to continue playing around with it a little bit more, but I really am liking it. And this is the one product that I was super, super excited about. And there is another one, which I'll get to here in a minute. And this actually retails for, where are you? uh... thirty two dollars and I'll you know put everything um, 
I'll put everything that I've uh, that I got in the description bar below and I'll put the prices and then I'll put the total value of the box now the next thing is we got a spray set go setting spray makeup setting spray by project beauty you get two fluid ounces here and it retails for thirty two dollars and I did use this to set my makeup after I used it and I'm not sure about how long it's going to make my makeup last. I will um, update you in the description bar down below, but um, it was okay. Um, I didn't, it wasn't anything special so far. It's kind of similar to my Wet n Wild or my Urban Decay one, but the spritzer could be a little bit more better. I'm not sure if you could see that, but it was okay. I mean, it doesn't like you know spit at you or anything like that the mister is okay I, I will use this up um, and everything and so yeah I don't have any complaints about this so far the last product I'm gonna show is by ColourPop and it's the ultra matte lip in beeper now when I heard that ColourPop was gonna be um, in this month's box I was super excited until I got this because I was kinda hoping for the ultra satin lips it's my favorite formula but I got the Ultra Matte Lip, and the other thing is, uh, it's in Beeper. I already have this shade, so I was kind of bummed that um, I got an Ultra Matte Lip that I already have the shade of. If it, if it was a different shade that I didn't have, I would be fine with it. I would be happy, but um, I would much prefer an Ultra Satin Lip. I just, typically, I do have a lot of these, and I do love some of the colors I own. Um, but I just have to wear a balm over it because one, it is super dry, and two, some of the shades, not all, um, that I owned uh, use, will last a while just fine. And then, of course, eventually my lips will feel dry. I have to put a balm or a clear gloss. But there are a few shades that I own that starts to feel like there's glitter on my lips after about 30 minutes of wear, and I just have to wipe it off. So those ones I just immediately put apply a balm or clear gloss after I let it dry and this actually retails for six dollars which is very affordable but Colourpop is a really good brand I love Colourpop I just wish I had gotten something else and the next thing that was in my box is was the electric eyes pa palette by Blank which retails for forty five dollars I would show you that but it's two of the shadows inside um, just completely shattered. I mean, it was all over the place. I'm not going to open it because this powder is just going to get all over me. And I wouldn't be able to show you the other colors anyways because those actually spread it onto the other shadows, which therefore is just completely useless to me. I have emailed Co um, ColourPop. I have emailed BoxyCharm about it as soon as I got the box and saw it and so I'm waiting to hear back from them so I'm super bummed that I don't have that to show you and I actually really wanted to use it today to kind of give you my first thoughts on it but unfortunately it's like I said it was just completely shattered well at least two of the shadows were and the rest of them is just not usable so um, hopefully they'll have extras to give me one in my next month's box but I don't know they say you know any items that were missing or damaged uh, they actually will put it in your next month's box but like I said I haven't heard back from them so anyway so this month was just kind of a eh, okay for me except for the bare minerals powder which I am super excited about I love bare minerals so but anyways so that was it for my boxy charm unboxing it's not really an unboxing but you as I said you already know what happens so anyways I hope you guys like this video I will continue to do more of these as long as you want me to and please give this video a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys very soon